Charlotte, take it. Get the news you want when you want it. Fox Stand by 14 eight. News at 9. The right news at the right time. Charlotte, take it. First on Fox 14 News at 9, an arson investigation after a rash of fires. Plus, starting early, find out why one four state is near the top of the list for youngest to get married. And how to stay warm without breaking the bank this winter. Fox 14 News on. at 9 starts now. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Hayslip. Claire. First on Fox tonight, a series of early morning arsons have police on the lookout for who's responsible. Joplin police say the first call came in at about 1.30 this morning. Take That's it. when officers showed up at an apartment complex on Michigan Street, found a house uh, or found a car on clear. fire. Okay. That's the remains of that car. A short time later, a neighbor who heard the fire trucks noticed the deck of the apartment was on fire. About a half hour after that, close to quarter till three in the morning now, Police received another call. This time, two more cars on fire on Wisconsin Street. Both houses six there were also damaged. We uh, talked to one of the victims of the arsons who had his car destroyed. Six. Back to buy. I saw that my car on flame. Yep. I almost uh, fell 10 apart. Ten seconds. Be a dream. Claire, I could double not up. believe it. I thought it was. I said, "Is this a dream? It's got to be a dream." Kim. About half an hour after the call came in about the burning That's cars on Wisconsin Street, yet another fire reported. Seven this time, a sack of trash set ablaze on Main Street. JPD is not sure if that fire is connected to the others, but do consider it a possibility. Officers say they do have some leads in this case, but nothing concrete. Update you on a carjacking that happened over the weekend on North Schifferdecker in Joplin. Deputies Stand from Jasper County, Missouri, that. found the car this morning. It burning near Sarcoxie. No arrests have been made. 07, Tech Nats. In California, oh. dramatic rescue from a burning car. Oh, yeah. Car caught fire after a wreck on the highway. Two police officers freed Alexis Reynoso from his car just seconds before flames swallowed the entire vehicle. Reynoso is now in the hospital, but he is expected to fully recover. Yeah. A special election in Girard, Kansas tonight, where voters hit the polls to decide if the city Stand should keep screen. its ban on Sunday sales of alcohol. On the that screen. is about to change. The no's win this. Once again, the no's win because the question said, should Stand alcohol sales be prohibited on uh, Sundays? Okay. No's 73.1 percent of the vote. City Council in Fort Scott, Kansas, shot down the idea of Sunday sales at tonight's meeting, four to one in favor of not allowing it. Council deciding not to take it to a public vote. Fort Scott City Council also considering money Stand for family for members of the 891st Engineering Battalion. The agenda showed that the $500 was recommended to be approved. Also Relate. on tonight's agenda, discussing the urgent need grant from Congress. This means $1.4 million to help rebuild after the Blair. fire that destroyed parts of downtown last March. Fox 14 was told that money would be used to repair the infrastructure and streets, but not for new buildings. Yeah. After withdrawing a guilty plea for sex crimes against a minor, charges have not only been refiled against Step Jerry Chrisman screen. of McDonald County, but two new ones have also been added. The, the charges screen. range from rape to promoting prostitution. The new charges, two counts of first degree statutory rape. McDonald County prosecutor Steve Geating says Jerry Chrisman paid a teenager to have sex with him. He then put that Stand video like and others involving sexual activity with children on the internet. Kim. Record temperatures in the four states. That may mean Stand what feels five. like an endless summer, but it can also mean the straw itch mite is sticking around. Take it. The health department in Crawford County, Kansas, says the tiny bugs return this year and won't disappear Claire. for a while. Officials say it takes two or three good freezes to get rid of the itch mite. Stand by of six course, bite. with temperatures still in the 80s, the pest could bother the four staters throughout the Roll fall. Six. Take the bite. It, it has to get uh, freezing or below uh, uh, before it will kill striped mites. So, uh, you know, we have been, uh, I guess, fortunate in some ways in the fact that we Stand haven't had any one. real cold weather yet this year. But on the other hand, it's going to take the cold weather to uh, destroy the striped mites. Yeah. Health department says to be extra careful while you're raking leaves this fall. Recommends wearing an insect repellent with DEET and also take a shower immediately after you're done working in the yard. A jailbreak has police in Kansas and Oklahoma on the hunt for two prisoners who escaped from the prison in Lexington, Oklahoma. Kansas Highway Patrol received a call this morning that the two were Claire. spotted near our Kansas Stand City and of course right near the border of Kansas and Oklahoma. These two men have a violent history. One in prison for rape, the other in prison as a convicted murderer. 
Officers think the cons abandoned the car they were in after seeing police work a crash. Take it. Our best guess so, is, is they saw a lot of police cars of across the highway at the accident, and they, and they might have thought it was a roadblock or, or whatever, but for, for what unknown reason, they abandoned the vehicle right there, and we haven't seen hide nor hair. Row 5, take it, QM. This is the weekend train derailment in Texarkana, so, Arkansas. What you're looking at, video from a dash cam of a police car showing the explosion and fire that killed a woman and also sent several others to the hospital. The police officer. Nothing he could do but throw the cruiser in reverse and try to escape the secondary explosions. The train that derailed was carrying a flammable liquid. It was hit from behind by another train. The school board in Neosho, Missouri is asking voters to pass a bond issue to build a new elementary school. Asking them for the third time. The bond would also renovate the high school. Superintendent says right now the school district is Clear. overcrowded. It says principals are forced to put computers in the hallways and the computer lab. That's a tight squeeze for any class. He believes having schools with too many kids Stand creates problems. Bite. Problems that building a new school could eventually Roll seven. fix. Take the buy. Inherent so, with the number of students uh, that are, 16 are attending those schools, that you have many. traffic problems, things that Clear. are just uh, uh, parking problems. Uh, again, Stand of course, class one. sizes and then the uh, number of mobile classrooms that you have to bring into a building to, or to a campus to accommodate that many. Jim. Dr. Page says those mobile classrooms he was talking about, not only less cost efficient than a school building, also being isolated can create security issues. It is the trial the entire world will probably be watching. Former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein finally having to answer to his crimes, including the massacre of more than 100 today. people that happened two decades ago. Fox's Caroline Shively has more. She's in Baghdad. Probably. Take it. Saddam Hussein heads into court just standard. hours from now, accused of only get at least two weeks. In Baghdad, I'm Caroline Shively, Fox News. Music. Coming up next Row on five. Fox 14 News at 9, not exactly the Kentucky Derby, but pretty close for the jockeys. And still ahead, young on. and in love. Why this county courthouse attracts those looking to get hitched. Kim, stand First by we two. have Doug Hetty. He's got our Fox 14 forecast. Doug? Kim. Thanks, Michael. It looks like our warm temperatures are going to start to move on stand out of here. VR. Your latest forecast is coming up. Roll it. Check the AR. Pittsburgh and the surrounding area. Uh, stand. Shit. Stand by to queue stuff over five. Roll five. Take it. Tighten up, tilt up, and zip. Keep going. All right, tilt down a little. That's right. Who needs horses? Cool. Would oh, we have sorry. the annual Zip. Buffalo Sprint in Thailand? Here's the grand prize. $122 and some farm equipment. Hold that shot there. Clear. It's not really as good as the honor the winning buffalo gets. You get Stand an entire parade in your honor. What do you think, Doug? Bring us my gun. I want to do it. That's like the Stand music by. going in the background now. <laughs> Let's check in with Doug Hetty. He's got to look at our Fox 14 News at 9 forecast. Douglas? Kim. Well, it turned out to be a hot one outside for us today. In fact, we broke a record all the way up to 90 degrees. Started out at 54 in the norms of 70 and 47. The old record was 85 degrees. So we didn't just break the record. We broke the record by 5 degrees. No rain for us today, but that could be changing down the road. Tower cam looks good at this point in time. We have mostly clear skies up top. Of course, the roadways so. are on the dry side. Should be staying on the dry side for at least the next 24 hours or so. I think, yeah, at about I think 5 Bill, to 10 as we day, jump into the daytime did. hours tomorrow. So Middle 80s. A, got, we could see a pop-up shower late in the day, mainly in southeastern Kansas, lasting through Quick Thursday one. morning. Look at the temperatures. Tumble, more, Michael. 68 Stand Thursday. 50s, lower 50s for highs by Sunday. Wow. And I was in such yeah. a good mood. Thank you, Doug. Mm -hmm. Oklahomans are among the youngest in the nation when it comes to getting married for the first time. That's a report by the U.S. Census Bureau Stand showing the average for a woman in the Sooner State, 22.7 years. Guys, 24.9 years old. County Courthouse in Miami says it issues more than 60 marriage licenses a week. Now about 20 Where? of those go to couples 22 years old or younger. Court clerk says one of the reasons there's a wedding chapel right across the street. There's also no <laughs> three-day waiting period Drive in Oklahoma in wedding chapel, right stand now. By seven, bite. County clerk says this new report probably right on target for the area. Roll seven, take the bite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of times they really surprise me. Ten seconds, people really do this clear. Stand by to keep slip over full screen. Because I'm thinking, I can't believe people do this. Thank you. Em. Law is about to change in Oklahoma. Starting November 1, couples 18 and under do have a three-day waiting period before getting their marriage license. Break Stand it down for you. Roll. Give you the top five in each one. Yep. Six in the left-hand column because of the ties. But for women, Utah not only ranks number one in women, but also men. Oklahoma comes in in both, followed right behind another Stand one of the four states in Trump. Arkansas. You, you might need someone to keep you warm this winter, keep you warm without breaking the Relate. bank. Coming up next, Fox on Your Side shows you how to stay insulated and try and Step keep some of those pennies in your pocket. The heart and soul Instead of worrying about high oil and natural gas prices, maybe it's time we start thinking about socks and sweaters. Lots of them. You can insulate your home. You can also Clear. insulate yourself. So we bring package. in Fox's Dagan McDowell. She's going to go on your side. She's got some tips to avoid overheating your bank account. This one. Row five. Tag it. Bundling up. 139. Firing standard. up. Even. In New York, Dagan McDowell, Fox News. Cue music. Watched a lot of baseball in my time. I can honestly say this. It was one of the Roll most six. exciting games. It was Tag also it. one of the longest home runs I have ever, ever seen. Ben Scott's on deck with sports. Semi VR. Roll it. Yeah, Introducing the new fresh toast. 736. Call now. All right. Standby camera two. Good evening, everybody. The Commerce Tigers have beaten the defending state champions this season, then rolled to a 7-0 record. Stand Facts five. like that make them the Fox 14 Hardys Team of the Week. Take it. Commerce will take its perfect mark to pitcher this weekend for a district tangle with the pitcher Gorillas. Then the Tigers will host Afton Clear. in a game that could decide the District 5 title. Now, last year, Commerce finished 11-2 and, and made the state quarterfinals. Stand by six but five. if you talk to players and coaches, there is a distinct difference in this year's Row team. Row 6, back to bye. The thing different about this year, you know, due to injuries and switching people around, on the team we don't player. have any big stats right now individually, you know, but, you know, as the kids know, the main thing is to get the win, you know. We've got, uh, got a lot of kids that are really, uh, really focused on just the team Clear. going as far as we can, uh, just not caring about anything else besides, you know, going far into the playoffs. Yeah, like we got uh, a lot more players focused on the team, like Tim said. Um, Got a bunch stand by of seven, stand by the queue, back slip Logan, over, Micah, the five video. seniors. They're a lot focused on the Roll team. Row seven, yeah. take it, cue him. And Albert Pujols hit this three-run homer in the ninth inning Monday night to give the Cardinals a 5-4 to four win over the Astros and force game six in St. Louis. Monday was just the fourth time in baseball history that a postseason game ended with a come-from-behind homer with two outs in the ninth inning. Stand by While for the Cardinals eight. were facing elimination, Pujols knew the Redbirds were still alive till that last pitch. Roll eight. Take the bye. Get up. Well, I'm a big believer. It's not over until you don't make uh, 27 outs. And I mean, I know I was the fifth guy coming Fair. up uh, uh, at that inning, but uh, I put my batting gloves on. And uh, knowing that, that oh, if I up? have an opportunity, what's you up? know, oh. hopefully I just, I just a did a little prayer. Guy. Hopefully I'll be uh. the last guy to make the out. You know, that's, that's the attitude that I, that I was sitting out there when I was praying. I was okay. like, just give me the stream, Lord, to just to get a one or bad. And yeah. And the Rams lost their third straight game Monday night, falling to the Colts 45 to 28. In the game, St. Louis quarterback Mark Bolger went out with a shoulder injury, and acting head coach Joe Vitt Stand says he doesn't one. know yet if Bolger will be ready for Sunday's game against New Orleans. Yeah. Michael? Ben, go back to Albert Pujols' home run. Measured it 412 feet when it hit that plexiglass up there above the railroad tracks. If I had to ask you, how far do you think it traveled total? Uh, you're asking me? Yes. I'm, I'm 500 asking, at least. Asking. That was a Mickey Mantle shot. That's what I said. I said, I said at least 500 too. Hey, hey. Okay, coming up next, we're going to walk in the clouds Take and it. give you a new perspective on a very nice tourist destination. We got that coming up next. You're watching Stand the News at 9, only on Fox 14. Why do you bank at SMB? Right. Weekdays at 3, only on Fox Stand 14. Semi camera. Yeah. Hot, hot, and more Stand hot might two. be over. Let's check back in with Doug Hetty. He's got to look at our Fox 5-day forecast. Douglas? Yeah. Michael, after hitting 90 degrees today, breaking a record. Still one more day in the 80s, but a strong cold front rolls Stand through with chances for showers and thunderstorms lasting into Thursday. Much cooler highs into the 60s and then dropping into the mm -hmm. 50s by the time Stand we head one. into the weekend. Overnight lows near freezing. Yeah. Instead of a sightseeing trip around town, if you get Stand a chance to five. hit up Sydney, Australia, you can see the sights from up above on what's called a skywalking tour. Walkway Take sitting it. some 880 feet above the ground. 
Runs around the Sydney Tower, even has glass floors in a couple spots. Now, for the faint of heart, there is a glass barrier that's about chest high, and you have to be connected to a safety rail at all times. I'm not afraid yes, to tell you I am screen. afraid of heights. I won't be going there. Not only that, it'll cost about 100 bucks. On the full screen. Hey, feel free to drop us a line if you get a chance. Like Questions, comments, you. news tips, email address mhayslip at fox14tv.com. Also, if Stand you're on your www.com box, don't be afraid to log on to www.fox14tv.com. Thanks Go. for joining us on Fox Stand 14 News at 9. We'll do this all again tomorrow after Major League Baseball. I'll see you then. And hit it. Music. Roll it. Take the.